everyone and welcome back to a brand new video if you're new here hi i'm melissa i post videos every thursdays on my channel about fashion beauty lifestyle and recently i've been vlogging a lot i love anything pink anything girly anything cute um so if you're into that type of video then you know that type of aesthetic and stuff then you're at the right place if you're not subscribed yet is a red button below it's 100 percent free and it means a lot to me so don't hesitate to do so but you guys i am back today with a new perfume of the month video and to be honest i <laughs> was not really sure if I wanted to uh, post this video because basically I haven't bought a perfume in forever like five months six months I don't even know I've been really using all the perfumes I already own you guys know that I have many perfumes I've been doing my perfume of the month series for like nearly two years and I was always buying new ones not only for videos also for myself of course but you know obviously I have to finish them so I haven't bought any and I am on the hunt for the mod perfume vanilla by Ariana Grande and I really want to do a video one day on that one but it's really hard to find here so hopefully next month is gonna be my lucky month but today I wanted to talk about Gizu and more precisely their hair perfume that I have right here I have the mini version so don't panic if you feel like it looks very small right now it is just the mini version like the travel size but we're gonna get into that in a second it's not really a perfume review I guess because this is more of a hair perfume and I don't really have any notes to talk about so it's gonna be a bit of a different style of video but I feel like I've never talked about this hair perfume and I've never done a dedicated video on one particular Gizu product so I felt like I would do this for the perfume of the month but let me know what you think about it and by the way before I get into the perfume I'm gonna talk a little bit about the brand and what I feel and what I think about the brand so if you're not interested definitely do skip ahead a few minutes and you will have the actual review of the perfume Gizu is a brand I I love so much if you follow me on Instagram and if you've been watching my videos for a while you guys know I swear by Yizu for my hair I started buying their products um, quite quickly once they just launched their brand I feel like I actually discovered this brand through obviously the co-founder Negin Mesalehi and just long story short Negin is actually a fashion influencer um, she's got really big by now and now she's obviously the co-founder of her very own hair care brand so Gizu is a hair care brand but also skincare brand now I feel like they're expanding and the particularity of this brand is that all their products are made out of honey and that particular honey comes from uh, Negan's family's garden like they have a bee garden if I'm not mistaken in the Netherlands it's also where she comes from and where the main office of Gizu is located by the way in Amsterdam I believe or like around there so that's the main thing it's made out of honey so it's quite natural of course there's a lot of different ingredients in these products I'm not gonna get into that today anyways the main ingredient is honey and I started using her hair oil a while back which was amazing and I have a lot of videos on my channel about the brand where I talk I think I have actually not a lot but like two or three where I talk about the the brand notably one where I do quite a big review on different products and I'm obsessed with the hair oil that's my number one favorite product my number two might be the hair perfume and my number three is probably the propolis um hair um how do you call it protectant here we go that one i love it so much so these are my top three and basically the hair perfume is one that i bought quite quickly when she launched it and i feel like she launched it it's like one of the first products she launched as well and then all the others arrived i think i'm gonna get into the actual perfume right now and then just talk a little bit also about the price and stuff like that so the intro was a bit long but i really want to talk about the brand too so this perfume is honey infused hair perfume um as you can see the bottle is a very simplistic very um i would say classy and basically it's just a see-through bottle and the actual color of the perfume is this yellow tint like most of her products where you can see the color of the of the products itself like the hair oil it reminds me a lot of the same color so this very like honey yellowish honey kind of color and then the cap is actually this beautiful baby pink color which is the iconic baby pink color uh, that Gizu has you obviously have the little label with Gizu written on it honey infused hair perfume 50 milliliter so that's a little bit about the the bottle obviously very aesthetic that's 
why they make it so pretty because I also want it to be Instagrammable, of course. And basically, this perfume is so funny. I'm gonna spray it right now. So it is a hair perfume that you can spray all over your hair. Maybe I'll put too much right now. I don't know. I feel like you can be very free and use as much as you want. Um, it smells absolutely divine. So unfortunately, there's no notes in particular. So I'm not gonna go dive in into notes and stuff for you guys. I would say that if you've ever tried the hair oil by Gizu, it definitely smells similar to that or if you've tried the hair mask or if you've tried all the conditioner so it's this very particular fragrance that Gizu has it's a fragrance or a scent that I've never really smelled anywhere else this is why it is extremely hard to describe it but it reminds me definitely of this honey kind of scent you definitely smell it but it has on top of it this very luxurious and expensive fragrance to it especially the hair perfume obviously the hair perfume in this case hair oil is a bit thicker and and i would say you smell more the honey in it while this definitely has a style a type of fragrance i would say definitely sweet and floral i would say that's what this perfume is the most so if you're not into sweet scents or especially floral scents i would try to avoid this perfume because definitely floral i mean it is a honey you know bee garden so this is a bit about the scent i really tried my best to kind of describe it however i can with the information i have too now the idea is to spray as much as you want to be honest i usually just do like two or three sprays on one side and two or three sprays on the other uh, but sometimes i'll just do two so what i like to do is apply it especially when i just for example styled my hair and i'm gonna go out or something and i want to smell good i just put that in my hair because you know when you say hi to people usually they also smell your hair so i feel like that can really add something to it also because sure it is strong because it is still a perfume but it's not gonna overpower for example your perfume your daily perfume so if you want to put on just your perfume on yourself and then a little bit of that in your hair i feel like usually it mixes quite well at least i've never had any issues so it definitely is a great ally to the hair oil and to the whole obviously products like um selection by gizu but i use the hair oil Oil, and when I use that obviously it makes I feel like the hair smell even better and even more of this honey scent kind of to it I would say it stays a few hours I wouldn't say it stays the whole day definitely I would have to reapply some now I wouldn't say there's a lot of negative sides to it I did feel like when I first bought it a few years ago so I don't know if they changed anything in this perfume but I do feel like it used to make my hair very greasy easily so that's something I didn't really personally like but maybe I was applying too much of it because lately I've been applying some I mean today my hair is not looking wow but whatever but I've been applying quite a bit of it lately and I didn't really feel like my hair was getting greasy lately and also a very good point is that obviously it's made out of the honey um, the Gizu honey which means it's also gonna be very good for your hair in terms of moisture so it's gonna take care of your hair as well and that's what Negan really wanted she actually said it, I think in one of her videos when it launched she said that the important thing of the Gizu products is always to take care as well not just like um, smell good and that's it so it's also a great way to take care of your hair at the same time instead of spraying you know any other type of hair perfume or perfume in your hair I'd rather just spray this so this video is actually quite long in the end. I didn't expect it to be that long when I started filming it. I thought I would get straight to the point because there's not that many notes, but I'm trying to like talk about as many things as possible for you guys. And I wanted to just also talk about this hair perfume floral edition. I'll try to put a picture of it. The cap is lavender, which is so cute, but otherwise it's a similar design. However, it's the floral version. So it's, a, it's even more floral than this one. Therefore, that's why I would say this is maybe the sweet version and the other one is really more floral. So like that, you have a bit of an idea. So if you like sweet, but you're not a fan of floral, go for this, but if you're a fan of floral, go for the other one, I would say. The other one, I've never smelled it though, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but I do have a few notes, and it says, for example, that you will find um, sweet blackberry in it, lavender, honey, obviously, tart ginger, so um, yeah, a bit more floral for sure, and I'm really wanting to try it. I think they have it also in the like big version and travel one, but don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. Um, quick little information as well, if you're curious, I'm looking at the Gizu website for this, just uh, for information. This is called the pocket size, to be exact. Um, so 50 milliliter for 38 euros, and then the 100 milliliter is 72 euros. So it is a pretty much a price of a standard perfume, so I would say it's a bit more of the expensive side, but we do know that Gizu is uh, a bit more of a premium to, not luxury, but premium high 
um, brand, we already know that. I really love it, I give it easily, I think, scent-wise, a 9 out of 10. Um, let me know what you thought about this video down below, and um, I hope that the next perfume of the month will be the Ariana Grande one, because I'm really wanting that one so bad, like the, the vanilla version if possible, because I'm a sweet girl, more than floral. Um, but yeah, you guys, so we'll see. If uh, you want to, you know, keep up with these videos, definitely subscribe. It means so much to me and I will see you next week in my next video. Bye everyone!